Good morning, everybody. At least it's morning here. It's probably morning where you are. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I'm Robin, and for these next 45 minutes, I am your hostess for Craft Around the Clock. And did I say, my name's Robin, and behind the camera, behind the computer, you might hear him, but you probably won't see him, is my husband, Bill, and couldn't do this without him. But welcome to our craft studio. We have, um, I have a fun little project I'm working on today, and I'm so glad you're here. So I'm going to take just a moment Pardon me, I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to pull this up on my phone so I can see some comments up close. So if you are joining us, welcome, welcome. Please say hello in the comments so we know that you're here so we can greet you. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Liana. Tracy, we are saying a prayer for you for this afternoon. I don't know if that's really you, Tracy, or if that's your darling daughter, but either way, please give, give Tracy the message. We are thinking about you and uh, hoping for the best for this afternoon. So you guys kind of know the drill. If you're watching this, if you're watching this program, you've probably watched a lot of lives. And the video presenters always ask you to do these things. We ask you this because it helps us. It doesn't cost you anything, maybe a little bit of, of time, but and not very much at all. But if you would do these things, it really helps us get our page out there on Facebook. So if you would love our page or like our page, give it a thumbs up, follow our page, and sprinkle it out to any craft groups you belong to. If you have a friend that you think would be interested in this, tag them. And we certainly appreciate it. This helps us so much. We also have stars enabled. So we thank, we thank you for all of your support in whatever form it comes. So let's get rid of that. And let's see. Good morning, Patty. Oh, you are so welcome, Tracy. Now go, go, go rest. Go relax. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I found something at a thrift store. I don't know how many how many of you go to thrift stores. Give me give me a give me a yes in the comments. Yes, thrift stores or yay, thrift stores. Tell me if you shop at thrift stores. When I do, you kind of have to go into it with an open mind. Kind of like when you're buying a house and you go to a house and you think, oh, I don't like that couch and I don't like that whatever. It's like, well, it's not going to be there if you buy the house. Think beyond what you see. So when you see something at a thrift store, don't just say, oh, I don't like that color because maybe you can change that color. So this is, this is what I found. It looks like a book, a very interesting patriotic book. Look at this though. It's not really a book it's it's a little box so I thought this was so cute this is not my decor I might put this out at one time in the year but this is not something I would have out on display all the time because that's not my decor but I'm thinking past what I see and we're going to upcycle this so that it is my decor and I thought this would be so cute out on our coffee table put our TV remotes in here, or who knows, it could just be a big old junk. We put all our petty cash in here. Anyway, so we're gonna paint this up and we're going to use our our club transfer. So I don't know if you, yay thrift stores. Thank you for sharing, Patty. Yay thrift stores for Liana and Patty. Yes, they are, they are awesome. So I don't, I, I probably only paid a couple, I never paid more than a couple dollars for anything anyway, and I'd get that senior discount, so that was probably a couple dollars. Anyway, this is our August club transfer, so let me show you, isn't this beautiful, home sweet home, picture of a little cottage style house, now this is more my, this is more my decor, so we're going to use this, but sadly, it's too wide, it's too wide that way, it's too wide that way. So I'm gonna show you how I can use this anyway. I can kind of, I can kind of change it up and not cut it up, but piece it up and, and I'm gonna use it anyway. So first of all, I want to get rid of this, this design. Okay, so yay for lots of thrift stores. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my trusty chalk paint. This is Waverly White. And I'm just going to start painting this up. It might take, this is a pretty deep, dark color, so it might take a couple of coats. Now, I really like this. This is, this is I think this is new. I really like this, so I'm going to tape it off so I don't get any, so I don't get any paint on that. So I'm just going to take some painter's tape, and I'm going to snip this end square. Oh, and I, I was going to pre-paint this, but I wanted you to see what it looked like all by itself. I'm going to tape that in there. I love these sides. It makes it look like book pages, so I'm not going to touch that. And I'm not going to take the time to paint the back on camera today because it just I'd rather I'd rather take the time to get the basics done and not be watching paint dry. Okay, so how is everybody today? Hump day, Wednesday morning. What do you have planned? Any special plans for a Wednesday? Are you at work? Tell me what you're doing. I've got my coffee. We usually do evening, evening lives, but we picked a morning one to see how that goes. So I'm going to tape this up. So I'm just taping it up because I don't want to get paint on this. And I'm actually going to paint the spine. So I am going to tape that up a bit. Mask it off. You to be able to see what I'm doing if it matters. Yana's got one of those jobs. She says she's working while watching you. Oh, good. That's handy. Nobody, nobody's going to fuss at you for watching a video. That's great. I was a school teacher, so I didn't really get to do that. Okay, so I've got that. I've got that masked off. And I'm just going to paint the front and the side, and then I'm going to go back later, rest assured, I'm going to go back after, after the camera's off, and I will do the back. So I've got that masked off, just white chalk paint. I like, chalk, I like using chalk paint because it bonds really well to the surface, and it's, it gives good coverage. If I used acrylic paint, I would have to do several coats to cover this. Now, like I said, because it's a deep, dark background, I might have to do a couple of coats. And it, it dries really quickly, so that's great for crafting. I'm not spending a whole lot of time waiting for paint to dry. So I'm not too worried about my brush strokes on this first coat because if I put a second coat on, that will kind of hide those. Really just getting this on as smoothly as I can. I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to dry that a little bit before I go on the inside. And then I'm going to work on this spine. Do, 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 do. Are you having good weather where you're at? We have, we have had a lot of heat, but yesterday Yesterday was a was a more mild day. We had we had a little breeze kicking up. It was a warm breeze, but it was it was not a blast furnace. Painting up these edges. You know, I really don't mind the prep work on 
craft projects like this, when I'm when I'm painting a room, that's the that's the worst part, is all the prep work before you get to the fun. So, but this isn't too bad. I I enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of give it a quick little dry so that I can get on the inside. So pardon my noise. But thankfully this dries up pretty quickly. Edge so I can lay it down. Out for a ride this beautiful day in Michigan. Out for a car ride, bike ride. We have some friends who are visiting Alaska right now. We are going on an Alaskan cruise next month for our anniversary. Friends who are in Alaska right now and they were talking about how they rented some e-bikes and I guess that's electric powered bikes and went on a bike ride in Alaska. That sounded like so much fun. Maybe we will do that. a muscle on a cruise though, right Bill? That's correct. <laughs> you get involved in activities and, and our bodies can't keep up with our brains sometimes. Okay, I'm going to bring out the big guns. This is a really low powered, meant to be a low powered heat gun, but I'm going to bring out my, my big daddy so I can I can dry this up a little bit faster. Dry. I bet it's beautiful. I need to go on a car ride. I'm good for that. We have we have lots of I can still see through it, so I am gonna need a second coat. Again, still better than acrylic paint. Now, while that is dry-ish, I'm going to flip this open and paint inside here. And I masked it off. Just doing the inside edges. Again, that will that will need a second coat too. I'm going to do these edges. Okay, so back to thrift stores. Tell me, what was the last treasure you found at a thrift store? was the last treasure you found at a thrift store. I'm trying to remember what mine was. Robin, Robin says hello. Hello, Robin. Hey, you're my friend. <laughs> you have friends, that's true. Yes. My, she's my chucking friend. Got a transfer from her. One of the ones I've been looking for for like a year. Hey, we got Jackie on the afternoon for the first awesome, time. Awesome, Jackie. This is like your your awake normal awaking time. Okay, so I'm going to give this a second coat. So we are, thanks for joining us. We are upcycling this um, little box that's made to look like a book. And it was a cute little design, but not my decorating style. So I'm changing it up. I was talking about how when you go into a thrift store, you kind of have to go in with an open mind and you just kind of need to look at the bones of, a, of an item. 
because a lot is changeable. Things can be covered up, things can be painted over, things can be sanded off. Lots of options. Hi, Betty from Virginia. Welcome, Betty. And uh, okay. Sweet Creations uh, says, hey, Sifter, I thrifted my friend's garage. <laughs> <laughs> You can come thrift in our in our basement. I've got to, we've got some we've got some things that we need to exchange at a, at a thrift shop thrift shop thrift shop. Some things to give and then go shopping and replace them. And Cam says she found six wooden candle holders for twenty five cents. Ooh, awesome. wow! Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Awesome. I love it when I find things like that. Do you go to, when I go to thrift stores, besides looking for things I can craft with, I also, I like looking for things that they have that I remember growing up with. Because my mom had hand-me-down uh, kitchen, not appliances, but kitchen things. And I just painted my, I just painted my phone. <laughs> oh, well, it's got a cover on it. Okay, so I'm going to, I am a hot mess. Hot mess in hot August. So let me clean up a little bit so I don't look like a kindergartner. Are you a messy crafter? I try not to be, but I end up being. Well, welcome, Mary. I hope you will consider following our page. We go live several times a week. And so when you're not watching something else on Craft Around the Clock, feel free to look us up and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to dry this a little bit. give it a third coat. Absolutely messy. <laughs> well, that's okay. Sometimes that's just necessary. It makes it fun. Liana's very messy. I try not to. I try to set a good example. But don't don't worry this is not the way I normally craft I'm normally paint on my face and I am seeing I am seeing that through so I think I'm going to give it a third coat do that And thank you for following. We sure appreciate it. We are we are just we are just plugging along, getting our followers up. We passed 1,600 last week, or earlier this week, one or the other. So we're we are plugging along to try to get to 2,000 is our next goal. Okay, so one more coat. Another coat. Sorry. Here's another coat. Sorry. Trying to pull out my brush. But this will be the last coat. Mary says congratulations. Thank you. It's fun. We started, we started just over a year ago. The end of July was our very first live. So we've been doing these for a year. And it's been fun. We've come a long way. You, a year ago, 14 months ago, you never could have convinced me that I would be doing this. But here I am. Never say never. M and C Treasure says good morning. Good morning. Is it M or is it C? M and C. I know, but... Oh, is it M or C? Yeah, I get it. Who that. is it? Is it M, M or C? Yes, it is. Either it's way. M or C. Good morning to both of you. 
Good morning, sweeties, creations, and decor. I already said hello to you. <laughs> this is Cheryl. So it's C. Okay. Again, last coat. Promise. Regardless. Even if it shows through, we're just going to go with it. Okay. And I'm going to give it another little dry. Now, if you just popped on, this is a... Um, a fake book. It's really a box. See? It's a box that I got at a thrift store. It's got this really patriotic cover, which isn't always my decor. There are times when I decorate with red, white, and blue, but we're getting into autumn and red, white, and blue doesn't really have a place. So I'm going to make this more of a year round. So I'm painting it up, and then we are going to use our club, our August Club transfer on the cover, and then we will use it for a place to put our TV remotes or, who knows, hide dog treats in it. And I'm only painting, aren't you glad, I'm only painting the top of the side on camera today. I will go back. Was there any news on supplying to the UK? Um, all they will say is that they are working on it, but they are not there yet. So I'm so sorry. Oh, that would. I'm sure it's your government regulations that, that's stopping it, because I know they would they would love to be marketing. So I'm sure. Drag my feet, drag my feet, whatever the proper wording is. Okay, I missed something. I was going live in May 20th, but I dragged my foot. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, good for you that you started. So you started just a little bit before us. Okay. So that is, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Club. Club is a DIY subscription. So every month you get a, if you sign up for it, you get a exclusive transfer and you get three coordinating paste packets. The paste that comes with this transfer is Ocean Mist, which is a pale blue, Shimmer Rose Gold, and Shimmer Moonlight, which is a deep blue. So I wanted to use it. I'm not going to use my little packets. I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my jars. Now, I love this shimmer rose gold, but I'm just afraid that's not going to be enough of a contrast on this. I am going to use my shimmer moonlight, but I'm going to use this on another project. I'm going to use the shimmer copper on this one. So I'm going to continue to let that dry a little bit longer. And I found another treasure. I found this box that someone had given me a gift. I think it's a Hallmark gift box. But I'm going to, because I think this rose gold will look awesome on this blue surface. So we're just going to really quickly, we're just going to chalk on this little, this little house on this while we're waiting for that to dry a bit. So let me show you something. In, goodness, what is, what is in here? Closing cloth and oh, I know what this. Oh, shh. I can't tell you about this on my business page. It, it might be a it might be a gift for somebody. So anyway, shh, don't tell anybody you saw that. Okay, so this is paper. Was that was that sly? So this is paper, and we're going to put a sticky transfer on top of it. And you know what happens if you put a sticker on paper and you try to lift it up? You're probably going to lift up some of the paper. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to use some surface wax, which is just a clear, a clear paste wax. And we are just going to apply it on the surface. That puts a layer of protection between the sticky transfer and the paper. I use wax when I do when I do a project on wood or on something freshly painted. We're going to put some wax on that in a moment. Sorry if I'm shaking everything. Now I don't want too much wax. Too much wax is not a good thing either. 
I'm gonna make sure this is covered. And if I feel, if I can feel the wax, that's too much. So I'm going to turn this over to a clean side and buff that extra wax off. go. Perfect. Put that away. And I'm going to get out my fuzzing claw. I'm going to get out a dish drying mat. So I'm going to open this up. Our transfers are meant to be reusable. They're, they're self-adhesive. Reusable 10 to 12 times. If you take really good care of them, you can get even more uses out of that. But the company guarantees 10 to 12 and I'm going to, because it's brand new, super, super sticky, I'm going to fuzz it. I'm going to put a little bit of lint, a little bit of lint on the back of that sticky part. And just to lighten up the stickiness. And I'm going to place this. I'm just going to do the house. So I'm going to try and center this as best as I can. I'm going to push it down, not too hard, but I make sure all that sticky part is adhered so my paste doesn't bleed. I'm going to use my Shimmer Rose Gold. And the shimmers have some mica flakes, am I overhead? Have mica flakes in them that sometimes kind of settle to the bottom. So whenever I use, whenever I use a shimmer, I usually give it a quick stir. And I'm just going to put a little bit right on there. I'm going to get my squeegee. And chalk that on. Just push that paste through the silk screen. It's going to look gorgeous on that blue. I just know it. for that noise. Okay, take my excess off, put it back in. Okay, and here's our peel and reveal. And pull it up slowly because it is paper. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? I love those colors. I love that deep blue with that rose gold and it's got it's got just a little bit of shimmer to it. So, quick project while I'm waiting for this to dry up just a little bit. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to quickly clean this because we're going to reuse it. I'm done with my Shimmer Rose Gold. This was my favorite color until they came out with Shimmer Moonlight. I'll just tell you that right now. Okay, so to clean these, you just take some water, Spray it. You can take it to the sink and, and clean it out there. I like to start with either a paper towel or one of these Swedish reusable dish cloths and just get that top layer off. And then if it's a paper towel, I toss that. If it's one of those dish cloths, I, I toss it in the washer or wring it out. Now I get my board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but no chemicals. And this pulls out all that paste out of the screen, turn it over, do the same thing on the back, and voila, it's clean. I just let it air dry, put it back on its backer sheet, and it's ready to use again. Thanks, Pamela. Oh, sh oh people, I haven't been greeting people. No, you have not. And I have been, okay, been okay, so. Ocean Breeze and Me, where did I get the neon paste? The neon, the they shimmer? All, they all seem to know each other. They're okay. chatting back and forth a lot of it. But Ocean okay. Breeze said, did you get the neon paste? Oh, the glow in the dark? I do have glow in the dark paste. And they also have neon too. Um, well, I don't know of a neon. They have some bright colors, but they're not then, necessarily neon. But maybe you're thinking of the glow in the dark. And then Pamela says, I like mm -hmm. the box. I love the shimmers, yes. Okay, so that's ready to reuse. So here is our, our project. It's a box. And I am going to, because I don't like that stark white, I'm going to use some, not my regular surface wax, I'm going to use some antique wax. 
which is paste wax, but it has it has some pigment pigment in it. So it's it's a dark wax, and it will tone down this white. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna don't be scared. I'm gonna put a glob of it, and you're gonna think no, you're ruining it. No, it will kind of buff out. Robin's a like, blue creation says I used yes. glow in the dark paste for the first time last night and it was oh magical. yes yes I have not used it yet it's up it's up there on the shelf I'm going to use it very soon so you can see how this is just toning down that white we have glow in the dark or neon. Um, okay, um, maybe, well, it's it's probably not Chop Couture. It might be another company, because as far as I know, as far as I know, we don't have neon. But I, what do I know? She's an independent designer. Is she? Neon. Okay, Emma that's what, yeah. saw it on t-shirts on a t-shirt. Okay, that's the glow in the dark, I think. Yeah. I think you're talking about because I've seen people I've seen people mix it. It's not in ink form, but I have seen people mix it with ink and use it um, and use it on, on t-shirts and it does glow in the dark. So we'll be we'll be playing around with that. Okay, so I've got this waxed. I'm gonna I was gonna wax it anyway because it's a painted surface. And that has just toned down that white. I'm going to buff off any excess. And this will prevent that sticky transfer from pulling up my freshly painted surface. Makes sense? Okay. So, like I said, this was, this is too wide for Home Sweet Home. So we are going to do it in pieces. So I'm going to center this. And like I said, we're going to do our shimmer, our, our shimmer moonlight and our shimmer copper. Shimmer moonlight, shimmer copper. The shimmer moonlight actually has like, coppery color shimmers in it. So I'm going to do the copper on the house. It's time for a new, a new shimmer copper. Okay, so this is just a little bit darker than that rose gold, which I think will show up a little more contrast, a little more contrast on our background. Take off the excess. With shimmers, I like to come out at a couple different angles to make sure those mica flakes get pushed the all the way you down. Put the home sweet home on the spine if you want. I well, it still is too long because oh, it's, it's too, too long, long that way too. Distance. I thought about that. Okay, so I'm going to peel that up because we're going to have to pick it up and move it. Got that peeled up, set that aside, give this a dry. What do you think so far? Did I pick, does it have enough contrast? Okay, so next, I'm going to I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this over the top because I don't want that to get smudged at all. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to center home. And I'm going to do that with my shimmer moonlight. Ooh, look at that. 
Can you see? Oh, can you see those shimmers? It's sparkles. That is that is sparkle. That is not just ref, well, it's reflection off of the sparkles. So give it just a quick little stir. And I'm going to get a new squeegee. And I'm just going to do this word home. Oh, got to go back the other way. Okay, a couple different angles. The excess aside, let's peel this up. It was slightly crooked, but it's pretty forgiving. Okay, and I'm going to dry. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put something back down over the top of it. I don't want it to smudge, so I want to make sure that's dry. Of those colors together, Woo I may have a new favorite color combination. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down there. I'm going to center the word sweet. Sweet. And even on that uh, stencil, as you're putting it down, it's um, the Sparkly. blue is shimmering. Okay. Now I want to see if I've got it. Nope, way off. Way off center. That wouldn't have been good. Rihanna Although... says she loves the shimmer moonlight. She used it with the O Holy Night transfer. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, indeed. That is the that is one of my plans. Okay, so sweet. I have some. I've got some time. That's sweet. That's sweet. Seven minutes. Okay. And let's peel that up. Home. Sweet, 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 sweet. I like it. Do you like it? Yes, Ocean Breeze, get you some Shimmer Moonlight. They also have, and I'm neglecting to tell you all of this, they during the month of August, they have Pantone's Color of the Year. They made it into a paste. It is called Very Peri. So it's a periwinkle blue. And it is not for sale. It is, you can get it with a $90 order. You get a free jar, the entire jar of it. Pretty close. We're going to go with it. If it's not perfect, that's okay. We're just eyeballing it. So, if you're interested in that, take a look at, type in the word shop, and you'll get a link to my, you'll get a link to my shop, and it will tell you about the special, the periwinkle blue shimmer. Periwinkle, yeah, periwinkle blue. It's kind of a purpley uh, paste. But look at that offer. Okay, let's get home sweet home. Yay! Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I'm, it's got that little line with the heart. And we're going to put that at the very bottom. Just enough time. So if you like this, transfer and you're interested in it you can't buy it the only way you can get this transfer is only during the month of august to join club couture so this is a great month to do that because because i am having a special which kind of had to do with that box over there that shall remain nameless the first three club members that join are going to get a spe an extra special gift from me 
to help you with your chalk adventures. So, but that's a special for my for the first three people that sign up. So if you are interested in getting more information, type club in the comments and my bot will send you a link. Pretty good. Okay, so this I'm gonna do the heart in the copper and the lines in the blue. Should have done a smaller one. But that's good enough. Okay. Looky there, looky there, looky, looky, looky. I like it. Let me dry it real quick. Isn't that cute? I like it. Okay, one other thing we could do. I'm, did I have any questions? Thank you for sprinkling. How to pronounce it. I don't want to mispronounce it. Tisha or Tesha, thank you so much for sprinkling. Jeanette, welcome. Hello, thanks for joining us. If you're new, I hope you will consider following our page. We do... We do um, live videos a couple times a week. And you know what I'm going to do? We have time. I'm going to do on the spine, there's these, this cute little, let me get rid of some of this paste. This, these cute little words says, celebrate each other, forgive and hug often, laugh together, share our dreams, love unconditionally. And I hate to not use that. So I'm going, I'm going to chalk it on the spine. What do you think? Tisha. Tisha. Okay. Awesome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, so I'm pushing that down. I'm going to do it in, I'm going to do it in the blue because I love this blue. Make sure that's down. He's in Phoenix, Arizona. And what's not, whoop, Phoenix. Awesome. Are you hot there? I never know. I always think of Arizona as hot everywhere, but there are places in Arizona that are not hot. Oh, we, we enjoyed Arizona when we, we were did. there. We went to Prescott we and to um, uh, Sedona, and we went up the... Um, Jerome, I remember Jerome. Jerome. Okay, Jerome so let's peel this place. off. Pretty. That is a good choice to put there on the Here we go. So it's not super obvious. It's on the side. I used all the parts of the transfer. I just, I just kind of mixed them up. This one on the side. So if you, if you think, oh, I, I, I don't know anything. I would, don't know what I'd use that for. Think, think parts. Okay, so here is our project for today. This was a, it was pretty, it was a red, white, and blue book, book box. Where you, I guess maybe you hide things from would-be robbers in your home because they think, oh, nothing would be in that book, but you hide all your money in it. Okay, so. No, we're in the front. Oh. We're in front camera. Okay. So here, you still have here tape we go. On this line. Yep, I still have tape. Gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off the tape. I'm going to. This is, this was kind of what it looked like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the back. I just didn't do that on air. But this is our project for today. Upcycled from a, upcycled from a thrift, thrift shop. So when you go thrift shopping, don't look at all the details. Look at what you could do. So because we completely covered this up, changed it all up. And I think it looks adorable. So I hope you do too. And again, if you're interested in more information about club, type club in the comments and you'll get a bot and I'll follow up with you and answer any questions you might have. So I'm going to pose so I have a good screenshot. So 
Thanks for watching. Enjoy the next crafter on Craft Around the Clock, and we will see you again later. Bye-bye.